We took a room. This is a 20,000 square foot room. It's been a long journey back for Tucson astronaut Frank Borman. And when Borman graduated from Tucson High School in 1946, he had no idea that that journey would take him around the moon. The, the, the tenor of the country in the 60s was, uh, as you know, uncertain. Uh, the, the youth had lost a lot of its, uh, its enthusiasm for America because of the Vietnamese War. Uh, but the one program that seemed to unite all of it was the space program. We were very fortunate. We had the support of the Congress, of the administration, and of the vast majority of the people. Uh, so uh, it was a it was a very very stabilizing we're event. Launching one of our future landing sites, uh, selected in this smooth region to follow the sea of tranquility. Uh, smooth. Colonel Borman was the commander of Apollo 8, the first mission to orbit the moon and he visits the University of Arizona on the verge of another historic moment, the landing of the Phoenix mission on Mars. I'm very excited uh, about this, uh, the Phoenix-Mars mission. Uh, it's certainly, uh, it has a lot of implications for the future. First of all, it's the first one that's been run by an academic institution. Peter Smith is a great asset to, to the community and to the country. Uh, and so I, I think that that pattern will continue, uh, a combination of unmanned, manned, and uh, the challenge now, I think, is more, and it's the way it should be, and hopefully it will always be, a quest for knowledge. Uh, that's certainly what the, uh, the Phoenix mission is, to understand our, our universe and our surroundings. That quest for knowledge continues for UA graduates, who Borman spoke to at this year's spring Please commencement. Please welcome Colonel Frank Borman. Thank you, thank you all very much. You know, this is a great day for you, and it's a great honor for me. It, it's more than a great honor, it's, it's a special occasion. Well, it's very difficult to, I've found this out over the years, it's very difficult to convey uh, a uh, semblance of intelligence to these people. This is the, you know, this is commencement, and they're ready to commence. <laughs> Put yourself in, in my spot, if you would, then. Here I am, an old man of 80, and all that talent out there, all that intellectual talent. It's humbling. So I just I'm try to reflect on some of the things that I've found important in my life over the 60 years, but without trying to, to uh, impart a cookbook approach to success. Oh, I want to wish you the very best, and I'd like to close this, this brief talk with you by paraphrasing the way we, we closed the, the lunar broadcast that we made to, to the Earth on Christmas Eve, 1968. I want to say goodbye, good luck, and God bless all of you of the class of 2008. Thank you. <laughs>